So notice that when the x term was positive, our hyperbola opened to the right and the left. Sal Khan is the CEO of nonprofit on demand educational resource Khan Academy. He started making educational videos and compatible practice software in 2004 for his cousins that offer lessons at many levels of mathematics and science, and they became viral with many more people turning to him and asking him to create even more lessons in a variety of areas. Now he's doing it full time, and Khan Academy is a designated Forbes name you need to know in 2011. A recent blog post on Khan's new approach to education, which takes the lectures out of the classroom, leaving more room for project-based learning at school, sparked quite the conversation online. Bruce Hoppin brings up the point that there's not a chance on the Khan Academy to ask follow-up questions. I think, at least the way I think about it is, let's say you have a question and you're, you're doing calculus, you have a question on limits. There's a video on limits, and you can go back and you can click that 10 minute video on limits, and just the act of that is like, you know what, I don't understand limits, can you explain a little bit more on that? And if you're still stuck, if you don't even know how to navigate or know what you should be looking at to answer your question, we have a pretty vibrant community. We have a million users a month. So to Bruce's second point about hands-on learning, it's, it's a completely fair point. And what I think what Khan Academy enables is more time in the classroom for actual hands-on learning. The students are getting the lecture at home at their own pace. They can remediate if they need to. And now they can go to the classroom and do project-based learning and spend more time with the professor. To Kirkhoff's point about taking a relationship uh, or connection with the teacher to, to really get deep understanding, I think that's true. I think we'd be a, a very optimistic if we think a lot of students are getting that deep, intimate connection in the classroom right now. I, I think most students aren't. And to some degree, and even though it is virtual, it is strange, but I get a lot of feedback from a lot of users that they feel a deep, intimate connection with me, that I feel like their neighbor or their older brother, and that uh, I'm sitting next to them in, at, the, at the kitchen table uh, teaching a math. I love Christopher Hellman's point, and you know, I'm glad I was able to help his wife. Uh, to his point about replacing universities, I, I, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon, uh, but I think it's an interesting idea, and I, I think to think about that, we have to realize that a university is two things. It's a credential and it's learning. Uh, I think Khan Academy is go going to be able to really uh, change how the learning part is done in a pretty significant way. Uh, the credentialing part, you know, getting your degree from Stanford or Harvard, uh, uh, th that'll probably be there for, for a little while. Yeah, I think if you fast forward uh, uh, 10 years from now, I mean, it's not going to happen overnight. I mean, this is social change happening. Uh, 10 years, 20 years, I think an employer would rather see your log from a site like Khan Academy where it doesn't just get a 3.2 GPA in um, psychology. It gets what you did, when you did it, how well you did it, how well were you able to help your peers, how, how consistently did you work? Wow, this guy worked three hours every day for 20 years on this stuff. This is, this is a persistent kind of guy that I, wanna, I want working for me. And we'll be able to give people that type of analytics. I think that could be a more powerful uh, transcript than, than, than just a, a high-level degree right now.